Hey everybody, Duke DeYoung for Vantage Pro with Jonathan, Senior Technical Support Specialist for Yamaha. Yeah. Engineer. Ah, I'm so close. Is that alright? But uh, no, it's good, man. So, because uh, you're smarter than I am, so you should know your title. Uh, <laughs> But we're here at uh, uh, Infocom looking at the new DM3, and this thing's really cool. Yeah, great form factor, new engine for us. Um, this is the new series for us, DM3 series. It's two products, DM3S and a DM3D. D stands for Dante, S stands for standard. Uh, both of them are 22 channel consoles, 16 inputs, two effects engines, plus a 2x2 two two USB interface on the front. On the back of the DM3 series, we've got 16 local analog inputs, six local analog outputs, an 18x18 18 18 USB audio interface. The Dante version is a fixed card installation that has a 16x16 16 16 96K Dante interface. Um, both of them have an impressive number of features. It might look familiar to TF. We've got the ability to have two banks of scenes. Again, the 16-channel interface, this wonderful touchscreen, nice glass, hard multi-touch touchscreen. Um, all of these motorized faders are clean, out of the box, two sets of input banks, got effects monitoring as well as custom fader banks on both of them. The 18x18 18 18, uh, USB interface on the back also includes DAW control, which is new for us. There is a DAW mode on here, able to integrate with your preferred DAW uh, to control fades, uh, have full remote access of your DAW from the uh, interface on the back. The monitoring section looks familiar to TF as well as um, another couple of features that might look familiar. What we, has, what we have new here is Dante setup. Able to actually mount and view devices in the Dante domain on your console. So you can, for example, grab a TO 1608D2 and mount it directly from your console and patch inputs that direction instead of having to go out to Dante controller. Both of them um, are great units compatible with each other. If you have two DM3Ds hooked up on a Dante network, you can actually mount them together on Dante and control the preamps from another DM3D, essentially making it a 16 by 6 stage box over Dante. So this thing, I mean, that's a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it, it's doing all kinds of things. So kind of a small for format front of house console. Absolutely. Uh, could be a secondary broadcast console, yeah. uh, monitor console. The DAW control, I mean, that, that makes it studio worthy. It sure I mean, does. it really kind of does a little bit of everything. It does, yeah. And that's why we're throwing it out to multiple applications. We can see this in a corporate boardroom or maybe a breakout room in a corporate ap application. Uh, it would be great for podcasting. It's really what we're throwing this towards. It's maybe yeah. a podcast application. You've got local I.O. transport, 18 by 18 USB audio, which includes playback and recording. So you're able to get all of that over supply. USB Right, audio. right, right. So this, we're not talking about the DM7, the new DM7 in this video, but the DM3 is in the family, right? Like it's going to play nice with the DM7 if you need this kind of as a companion. Yeah, absolutely. DM3 and DM7 series are both 96K ready out of the box, which we're really excited about to get everybody up to a 96K ecosystem. Um, and using the Dante patch on the DM3D between this and a DM7, you can share Dante IO at 96K maintaining that ecosystem. Right, so this this could also then become a companion, like a, either a broadcast mix or, or a, a monitor mix or even like a sub-monitor mix. We were having a conversation with somebody earlier, like you could actually drop this with your keyboardist who's got 18 keyboards uh, and they can sub-mix their own keyboards Absolutely. out to the front of house. Absolutely, and because it's all 96K using Dante, it essentially becomes a stage box if you want it to have all of those preamps going back to a DM7. You can mount the DM3 on a DM7 and control the local preamps from your console. Yeah. No other hardware required. Yeah. Yeah, so new ecosystem is here, DM series from Yamaha, the three, we'll talk about the seven in another video, but um, this is a really, really powerful little, I mean, it's so cute, but man, this thing's doing a lot. Yeah, it sure is. It's our, it's our new 96K backpack console. We're super excited about it. I like it. All right. Well, for uh, more information on this console or how it fits what you're trying to accomplish, uh, please find us on our website, VantageProAV.com, uh, or hit us up at hello at VantageProAV.com.